Hi, and welcome back to our first full week after spring break. I'm Dr. Lewis, your extremely proud superintendent of Lawrence Public Schools, and I hope you had an opportunity to disconnect from work. And I'm sitting here with... Um, you're well uh, rested and relaxed. Uh, uh, Lawrence Education Association President, I'm Lori Folsom. We're going to um, welcome you this morning and thank you so much for the work that you've already done in learning about the redesign process. So it's, just, it's super exciting. I really have been uh, extremely excited about the number of teachers that have been excited about this process, the number of principals that have been excited about this process. And you are getting ready to take an active part in this process because you get to vote whether or not your school moves on to apply for redesign. So we are here today uh, to get down to the work of um, deciding whether or not your building is ready to redesign or not. And so one of the first questions to ask yourself, look around the room and are you already in a building where you have a strong culture of collaboration already? Because a successful redesign process involves a lot of collaboration. This is not a job that any one person or even small group of people can do. And second, we want to make sure all of our administrators, uh, which we know they are, are willing to empower you as teachers uh, to share an ownership in this redesign process. Because what we know is, based on the research, the number one decisive factor in terms of improving student outcomes is indeed the classroom teacher and the supports that's in that classroom. And second are the principals. So another question to ask yourself, uh, when it comes to students, are the people around you uh, committed to listening to students about uh, what they want their school redesign to look like. And so students can include data, but they should also include actual student feedback about what they want their school to be. And then finally, as we continue to develop our strategic plan, that becomes the what, but the how is definitely the redesign process, could be the redesign process, and so we are supportive. No one is here to tell you how to vote today. But we do want to assure that you are well informed about the vote you're making today. And so the only goal is for you to make the decision that is right for you and for your building and for your students. And how does this play into our accreditation process? So uh, we have been assured by the state of Kansas, the Department of Education is going to make a redesign a part of the accreditation process moving forward. And so the schools that vote to do this initially um, will walk through the process with um, facilitators from the state and they will help navigate um, the, the process with those schools that vote for this. Awesome. And we've been meeting with our principals. Our principals are committed uh, to redesign and we don't want to give anyone the impression that our principals are attempting to influence uh, the vote. So we've asked our principals to exit the room as you begin to vote and we want everyone to vote. We thank you for the effort that you have put forth already and um, for those buildings that apply to redesign, uh, we would like to uh, say thank you for taking that first step. Yes, yes. Well, I'm excited that um, this is a teacher-led process mm -hmm. and um, our, our voices and our students' voices are going to be heard. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Go vote.